They came from a common background. They served for a common purpose. 150 years ago, the storied African American regiments of the U.S. Army, commonly known as the Buffalo Soldiers, were born. Here in the United States, our civil rights movement began with the military. It began with African Americans joining the military, not just to fight for their country, but to fight for the right to be seen as citizens of this nation. The Buffalo Soldiers, who were formed in 1866, were just the latest incarnation of African Americans who had been serving in the military since the Revolutionary War. They were called Buffalo Soldiers because Plains Indians saw that the hair on their heads was just like the matted cushion between the horns of the buffalo, an animal sacred to Plains Indian culture. And you won't, you can't name something or someone after something you hold so dear as the pillar of your culture unless it was important, unless you saw those folks with an air of respect. So the Buffalo Soldiers were fighting for civil rights before there was a civil rights movement, fighting for freedom when freedom was the only thing on the mind of people who didn't have it. You have to tell the story of the Buffalo Soldiers because they are a significance to the American culture and the American way of life. No matter the color of their skin, they sacrificed for this country and they gave their lives. It's important to me because the things that the soldiers did, they, they let people know that they could do it. Even when they, you were told you can't, or they knew what they were there, they knew their job, they knew what they were supposed to do. And I want my children to know about the Buffalo Soldiers and the Tuskegee Airmen. They were a page in history that they don't learn about. And you've got to keep enlightening them on those things because if not, you're going to lose the history. In addition to their military campaigns, the Buffalo Soldiers also guarded some of our first national parks. They would help to protect settlers on the western frontier, build forts and roads, and patrol and maintain parks like Sequoia, Yosemite, and Yellowstone before the creation of the National Park Service. Their contributions at military sites like the Presidio of San Francisco, Fort Leavenworth, and others help make the site significant for inclusion in the national park system. On March 25, 2013, President Barack Obama revived a significant piece of Buffalo Soldiers history when he signed into law the National Park Service's 401st site, Charles Young Buffalo Soldiers National Monument in Wilberforce, Ohio. The park commemorates and interprets the service, struggles, and achievements of the Buffalo Soldiers and the life and accomplishments of Charles Young. Charles Young became the third African American to graduate from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point in 1889. He would serve in the 9th and 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldier Regiments on the Western Frontier and in the Philippines during the early part of his career. In 1903, Young became the first African-American superintendent of a national park when he and his troopers of the 9th Cavalry were assigned to Sequoia National Park for the summer. While there, Young's men proceeded to construct roads and trails that other troops were unable to accomplish in the years before them. The Buffalo Soldier history here in the Sierra Nevada was almost completely forgotten. And that's a tragedy because this is the most significant history for African Americans in the entire breadth of the national park system. Why? Because it's the only history of stewardship by African Americans of national parks prior to the creation of the National Park Service. Why is that important? Because so many African Americans feel that visiting a national park is something that's culturally alien to them because it's not a black thing. It's not something that we do. 
So when I tell African Americans that people who look like them protected Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks over a hundred years ago, there's this look of shock on their face and there's this look of joy on their face because it gives them a sense of ownership. So when African Americans arrive in Yosemite, they look at Half Dome and El Capitan, they look at the granite around them, they look at the earth beneath their feet, they look at the sky overhead, and they realize that that is their inheritance, and they are here to claim that inheritance, and the benefactor is their children. But not only are they claiming it for themselves, they're claiming it from the people who protected it for them, the Buffalo soldiers who served here, who built the first trail to the top of Mount Whitney in Sequoia National Park in 1903, the Buffalo soldiers who built the first usable wagon road into Sequoia's giant forest in 1903, and the same Buffalo soldiers who were responsible for building the first nature museum, the first museum in the national park system. And with all those contributions, they were forgotten. And that is what needs to change. They need to be remembered. They need to be celebrated for what they contributed. And the Buffalo Soldiers were at the beginning of that, not at the end. They're not add-ons. It's not a footnote. They're a central part of the story of our national parks. In honor of these men, the National Park Service is conducting a study to evaluate ways to commemorate and interpret the role of the Buffalo Soldiers as stewards of our first national parks. Now we need your help. We want to know how this epic story of these incredible men should be commemorated and told. What aspects of the Buffalo Soldiers story do you find most interesting? How can the National Park Service enhance efforts to commemorate and tell their story? How do you identify with their story? Don't miss this opportunity to help us bring this story to life by sharing your ideas and comments through the website at the end of this video. They joined for a better life and to help rebuild the nation. In doing so, they created the foundation of so much more. Celebrate these men, celebrate their story, celebrate their legacy. Join the Buffalo Soldiers Study.